The fallout from Monday's ticket launch of Star Wars The Force Awakens continues. On the heels of server crashes, delays, and frustration, comes word that IMAX is reporting that the film has set a new record. While The Dark Knight Rises, The Hunger Games Catching Fire, and The Avengers sold around $1 million in advanced ticket sales for IMAX, Star Wars The Force Awakens has sold over $6.5 million dollars. Yesterday, we told you that online ticket sales giant Fandango claimed that Star Wars beat the opening day pre-sale record, formerly held by the most recent Hunger Games film, by more than eight times that. And now our friends at AMC Theaters are saying that Star Wars The Force Awakens has beat their previous single day ticket sales record by more than 10 times the previous amount. John, with all this new info and AMC's new totals, how much do you think Star Wars The Force Awakens will make opening weekend? I think there there's a big risk here of brushing over how significant these numbers we're hearing thrown at us are. Look, like, look, look, let's put this in perspective. I remember a few months back, it might have been like a, it might have been like a February or something. Some movie came out, broke the February record. Like a, the previous record was like 61 million, and some came out and demolished that record with like 85 million. Right? That, that, that we consider that demolishing a previous record. We're talking about not doubling, not tripling, not quadrupling. Like from Fandango's point of view, eight times the previous record. AMC Theaters is saying 10 times the most that's ever been done. I think the record, forgive me for my, I don't know my NBA history. Well, I know, I know my NHL history. The record in the NHL for the most points ever scored in a game is 10 by Daryl Sittler. Now, of the Toronto Maple Leafs, by the way. <laughs> anyway, that's the record. No one's ever come close to that. I mean, that's that's just the record beyond records. No one's ever come close to 10 points in the game. Daryl Sittler did it. That's like somebody then coming out tomorrow and getting 100 points in one day. These numbers are, like, these are fairy tale numbers. These are absolutely fairy tale numbers. Appropriate. If you had, yeah, appropriate. <laughs> if you had told me, no matter how big of a Star Wars fan I am or anything like that, I don't think the most optimistic of fans... If you said um, it's going to beat the previous single day record of pre-sales at AMC by 10 times, not by 10%, not by by 1,000%. It's going to beat you know the IMAX records by more than six and a half times. It's going to beat the Fandango record by more than eight times. Even the most optimistic of Star Wars fans, okay, okay, settle down there, Haas. Just sit down for a second. It'll beat the records, but it, come on. But, this is astounding. So I said this on yesterday's show. I'm going to say it again. My previous prediction <clears throat> for Star Wars opening weekend, understanding that the existing December record, is, I think, is 78 million. 86. Is it eight? Oh, yeah, yeah it was 78. Uh, right. Got beat yeah. to 86 million. Uh, I think the highest I went before was 170. That's the highest I was willing to go before. Um, I am now going to, and then yesterday's show, I said it. I'll say it again. I'm going to go 250. I think this is going to be a new record that will not even be looked at for a long, long, long time. Then, funny enough, I think CNBC, their financial show was on last night, and they predicted 251. So uh, it's these are numbers like we will never see again. Like this is, this is like once-in-a-lifetime kind of <laughs> stupid numbers. Anyway, Christian, you see these numbers, these facts coming out. You, what does this do to your predictions? Well, first of all, this the, and I was talking about this with Schnapp before we started filming here, is that... This is how brilliant of a marketing campaign of what they've done so far with this movie. Because where I was, um, it was an event, man. It was like going, like a hot band was playing. People were like, it was like Wall Street. I got three tickets. I got four. People are screaming, yelling. <laughs> yeah. People who normally wouldn't even want to see Star Wars because it's, it's starting to become like this thing. And we are, we are that kind of culture that what's the hot thing? What's the, oh, everyone's talking about Star Wars. I got to get tickets too. If, if it's hot, it's hot. That's, that's the non fans. And then the fans are buying tickets on Thursday and Friday and Saturday. It's crazy the the amount the ten times I wouldn't even predict that. And you talk about the most optimistic fans. I think I'm one of them, and I have been saying for the longest time because of weather, and because of Christmas, and because of the record that I think it's going to have a very very solid opening at like 195. And I am. And I not, thought you were crazy then. I thought you were way, being way too optimistic. Yeah, and, at 195. and I'll tell you what, though, I am not going to stick with that number. I am going to go way over, and I'm going to say about 240 now because Jurassic World, had they done this two months, wouldn't have done these numbers. 
No way. No, no, not, not these numbers. Chance, no. Um, and they were, and I know that. Granted, it was it was in July or June, whenever whenever it came out, and it was able to make those numbers. But this is something else. This is a tsunami um, waiting to hit, and we can and we can predict it, and we know that it's coming, and it's going to really cause. It's it, this movie is going to be massive. Like, but I do think it can happen again with episode eight. Uh, no, no, no. Like, you think episode eight is going to come out? And beat the now new Star Wars record by, you mean by, by, by selling ten, 10 no, times no, no, more. No, 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 no. See, that's no, the point. No, that's the no. thing. Like, that's why I keep harping on this. That, like, seriously, remember this day. This is something you're. We're never going to see this again. Right. You are never ever going to it's see like this Joe again. Joe record. Yeah, yeah, like this is like one of those moments. It's like. I remember back when that Star Wars thing came and it beat the existing record by 10 times, yeah. by 8 times, in IMAX by 6.5 times. This is something really special yeah. that we are probably... And by the way, like the place to see Star Wars, I'm going to see it at the Dolby Cinema at AMC Prime on uh, on the Thursday night. But I mean, everybody pretty much knows the place to see a Star Wars premiere clearly is the Chinese. I mean, that's the place to see it. I saw on Craigslist that people were... This was going around the social media. Somebody got... Two tickets to the Chinese one. They're selling it for twenty five hundred dollars. Good lord! For a movie that's going to be playing again the next day. Right. For a movie, I mean, I haven't I haven't seen people scalping movie tickets before. This is someone wants to pay that ridiculous amount. That's that's (laughs) their loss. Um, Yeah. No, I talked them down to twenty four hundred. Just to be fair to myself, I was going to say it's it's worth two thousand. I predicted a two hundred million you way did. long yeah. ago. You I'm did. just saying because the reason I ever even felt that I, I in no way, shape, or form thought it would sell ten times the amount. That is truly a phenomenon. That's the perfect storm. But it's it's this kind of mixture of both nostalgia and the and the fantasy realization of the truth of seeing Han Solo and Princess yeah. Leia for all of us who grew up with Star Wars to see those iconic characters in a Star Wars movie again and done right. This doesn't feel like it's going to be like the Phantom Menace. This actually feels like it's going to be a, a continuation of the original Star Wars loved, trilogy. Right? Yeah, of what yeah. we all <laughs> loved. And with that and with the trailers that they've dropped, everything just keeps building. So that that phenomena that we're all feeling right now, you know, hopefully it pays off with the film and the film is fantastic. Right. I'm feeling it'll be pretty fantastic. So I think that you know they're going to have to build more theaters. I mean, it's literally there can be no films playing besides Star Wars and maybe one Meryl Streep film. You know what I mean, it's literally yeah. just like one independent under five hundred thousand dollar film, independent release, and all the rest should be Star Wars you know, for that weekend because that's how many people want to see it. You, you say that, and, and I and I would not be surprised if that actually does happen. I'm only half joking. No, they are. Look, yeah. Remember when, when Avengers, the first Avengers film opened opening? I remember we were at the AMC Burbank 16, getting ready to see it and cover it because mm-hmm. we did some video shots from out there. And remember, it was going to be playing in five of the 16 theaters. By 9 o'clock, because the first screenings were at midnight. This is back when they first had, when they still had their first screenings at midnight. At 9 o'clock, they expanded it to seven theaters. By 10 o'clock, they expanded it to 10 theaters. And by the time 11 o'clock came around, every single theater in the 16... This is Ultron or this is the first This one? is the first okay. Avengers was booked. I think... We are clearly going to see this happen because now two months in advance, like AMC's reported already 1,000 screenings in the first 12 hours. Wow. 1,000 screenings in the first 12 hours were already sold out. Wow. You're going to see theaters across this country adding more and more and more to the point that you're right. Like Alvin and the Chipmunks has moved its release date to opening of stars. There may need, there might not be any room at the end. <laughs> you're sleeping in the manger. That's I mean, the you still think, you still think the that was a good move by Alvin? <laughs> Yes. Really? Counter programming. Yep. I think, you know a, I think a week later, that, that, especially now, they're going to get buried. Yeah, buried. I got to ask Sinead this, though. So, Sinead, let's say this. Let's say you're married or you're living with your boyfriend. You have a joint bank account, whatever. Mm-hmm. And your guy comes home and he says, Honey, just so you know, I just spent $2,500 uh, for us to go see Star Wars on opening night at, at the Chinese. Your reaction? I'd kick his ass. Twenty five hundred dollars. Like, let's be real. Yeah. That we will be able to see that movie. Everyone will get a chance to see the movie. But oh, I gotta admit, even I'm like, for opening night, don't at the do Chinese. it, John. The, best, well, <laughs> don't the, do the, it. the big twist that it's actually George Lucas selling the tickets. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 